What are these bits of wood for? We're going to keep going and make a few more boxes for the vegetable garden. Lovely. I think that transforms it. Because then it's really beautiful in winter as well, when there's no plants. We've uh, finished doing those four beds. We've boxed them up and are uh, ready for some vegetables. Well, I'm going to... Oh, yeah! Finally! They're done. You must be happy, Marie. And what are you working on? I'm just trying to save these um, sweet peas and putting them up in the arches. So beautiful. Sweet pea weaving. No two days are the same here. Nope. <laughs> and did you see the new beds? I did. How beautiful is that? Look at that. Finally, after all this time. We seem to say that a lot these days, finally, after all this time. I feel like there's a big move forward next ben and grant will be working on this section getting the boxes in and then we'll get the arches up and finally we'll start tackling this area and doing the same here but that obviously is a bigger job and i think we're all just pretending it's not happening and just forgetting about it for now thor seems to approve of everything that's happening here do you realize that thor is eating the vegetables you, you've just planted no thor no thor Thor, we're not happy about this. We've literally just planted them. Hmm. Yep. What extraordinary authority I have in this house. At least you're prettier than a vegetable, Thor. I can forgive you. It's quite an idyllic view, actually. You, a cat, and a peacock. Oh, yeah. That's polite, yeah. Marie and her friends. Yeah, I think I fit in pretty well with that bunch. <laughs> Grant, <laughs> I've just found out that this is yeah. just for you. It's the size of your head. <laughs> so Grant has one for himself. And Ben, and ben has another one for himself. A quarter of vegetables. Who's got the cauliflower one? Me. me. You're the healthy one. Yes. And you're the unhealthy one. Yeah. And simultaneously, David walked in in a towel. I don't think for some time I've seen you without either lycra or a towel. Nah, it's because you never wear anything but a towel or a lycra. I've just been three hours in the rain on a bike, so I've just had to put everything in the washing machine. Anthropological moment. Here we have an Englishman, and he has no meat whatsoever on his plate, just vegetables. Here we have a South African, so we're going further south now. And that's the size of the meat that Percy has chosen. That's a pork chop. And then we move Jeez. down south <laughs> to Ben and Grant's. Is he anti <laughs> How is it, Grant? Nice and well cooked. Nice limousine beef. It's a very serious moment. Still going. Uh, I'm amazed at how much you've managed to eat from that. It's good. Ben is just slightly behind. There's not much in it. It's starting to look like more of an endurance test than anything else. Well, the thing is, once you set something up quite as macho as that, there is no way out. <laughs> Says the man eating vegetables and tofu skin <laughs> at the other end of the table. I don't know why I, I can use. <laughs> summer party at La Lande and I'll tell you more about it nearer the time but basically we're thinking lace Marie and I have got this huge plan of lace and flowers and being everything outside and we've just found this which Marie thinks you can twist flowers around uh, and will give us a little touch of Narnia outside <laughs> so we need that yeah and we need chandeliers yes there's so much that we need so much do we need there isn't enough lace in okay. France okay but we're getting this we're getting it. Cool. What have you found? Lots of lace. Oh yes. Lots of lace. Good, we're getting there. Yeah. I also got a ton of lace in the other room. Ooh, good. We've got this chandelier, ah. this double bed, what? this chandelier, this all. <laughs> and all the lace in France. Not bad. Eh, ça c'est l'adresse que je mets là oui. aussi. Oui, really just bought a lot. <laughs> and being so super sweet and offering us coffee. C'est l'entrée en cinéma, c'est en cinéma. 
Je fais un vlog. Ah, un vlog? Oui. It's been such a great day for vintage shopping that I'm having a celebratory beer. This is a great setup. Marie thinks that we need this for the garden at La Lande. Do you want one more? We should have a Prosecco van too. Oh, yes! <laughs> so you reckon you can bring this to our summer party? Well, I'll try. Yeah, that'd be so amazing. Yeah. Smiling as well. <laughs> Doesn't smile much. I smile here, just, just not a smiley person. Anthony makes the best beer. How long have you been here? 18 years. So this is properly French beer, even if you're Welsh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is French living. What have you bought? No, Marie, I've been wanting that for ages. I'm so jealous. Me yeah. too, actually. So now I'm going to sparkle away for our summer party. I spend all my money on beds and chandeliers. <laughs> there we go. Shiny. Oh, I love it. Because it's really simple. Yeah. yeah. You a present. <gasps> yes. We went my, quite wild. Well, we figured you're usually into just the towel. So occasionally, <laughs> if you want to dress up for the evening meal or something, you could you could wear the whole ro toweling robe. Oh! Da, 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 da. oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you reckon? Brilliant. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get, Stephanie? Vintage brassiere. <laughs> I don't know why I got it, but. How could I not? Look at that. Yeah, it's like conical breasts. Wow. I don't know if it's going to fit properly. I have to try this. Wow. I'm feeling quite conical and Madonna now. Yeah. See? Um, I don't know how to, I actually genuinely don't know how to reduce Somehow the cup size on a bra. There's a lot of extra fabric going on here. Ah, I just thought she had bigger boobs there. Suddenly, for a moment. suddenly, yeah. Just yeah. A little bit of surgery in an instant. No, 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 we don't do surgery. <laughs> <laughs> we started the collection of robes yes. for the bedrooms. Lovely. So that instead of just having boring toweling gowns when they come, people can float around the That's chateau right. in vintage robes. Yes, That's a good can. idea. I know, I love the colours. Also, mummy. Chandelier number one. Oh my goodness. It look how huge it is, but I thought it would be perfect for Michael's apartment. Yes. And chandelier number two. I was thinking to use it for our summer party. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, I love them. Absolutely love them. Aren't they pretty? They're so pretty. One euro each. That's wonderful. I got swimsuits for our tree house. Oh, so. we're going to a tree house next week. Yes. Uh, yeah, this is quite big, Mappy. No. Did you want us to be matching? Yep. Right, let's try. Okay. That is more standard than this house. <laughs> it's not big. Thanks for the time. Oh, okay. No, it's fine. Yes? Yeah. Yeah. We'll be matching. What do you think, Mummy? Well, it fits. It fits. Yes, we're yes. the green goddesses of La Lande okay. now. Perhaps not in the kitchen, these <laughs> appear. holding the camera in my green swimming costume but <laughs> well David's in his bathrobe so it's all I, good. I can hold the camera in my bathrobe and film you in your green swimming <laughs> And mummy thinks we've all gone mad. Yeah. I yes. don't see that change. Yeah. Oh, no. No, it is two o'clock and we have not eaten. Very lovely sheep. Coming quite fast now. <laughs> you need sharing don't you darling? We're going to have to get Grant and Ben to get you again. Retrospectively, this might have been a quicker way for Grant and Ben to catch them. <laughs> Nowhere near as entertaining, though. Well, I thought I would mention it, but I just didn't. Odd. Odd decision. What yumminess have you made us for lunch? Cheese on toast, scrambled eggs, and then uh, he's left over salad, and there's some leftover pancakes from yesterday as well. Sounds pretty idyllic. Grant says he has a surprise for me. So you remember that thing we found next door in the stable and I said I can do something with it? Oh. Oh, I think I do. <gasps> oh, oh my goodness. That's fantastic. Grant, I love it. Oh, that is fantastic. 
Gold. Got? Oh, it's beautiful. We only had the front. There was yes. no box just attached to this, just to explain to everyone. We've carried that with us for years. Well, now we have a swanky post box. Yes. Oh, I can't wait to see the look on our postwoman's face when she turns up to deliver to this magnificent beast. Grant, you are amazing. I can't believe that with everything else you've been doing, you found any time to work on this. Oh, that's okay. There's plenty of dialogue here in France. <laughs> so we're, we're, we're putting up a new letterbox here at La Land where uh, we've got a very nice um, British feel, I believe. Excellent! Um, and this was the old magnificent letterbox that we had. I just didn't think that was very chateau somehow no. as it come in. And we've turned this into a better letterbox to represent this magnificent chateau. I really love it. I hope that the French don't get too cross about <laughs> this level of Britishness outside the chateau. And we've got a little old key that we searched and found and you can use the key to open. Um, you are a genius. Dream Team does it again. Ben hiding behind there. <laughs> All good? Yeah. All good. Grant. Ben. Genius. Seriously. Genius. Oh, look at that old, horrible letterbox going away. <laughs> now that is a letterbox. Bye bye, Percy. Bye, enjoy your stop. Mummy and I are going on an awfully big adventure together. Mm, very much so. Imagine bye, chickens. Bye bye, Antipodeans. Bye bye. Have a fun trip. Thank you. Have fun here. We will. Opening the gates, there's going to be a massive party. Oh, what? No, at least wait for me to get back. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy and I are in Paris, but we're here to get the train to the south of France. And we can't tell you why we're going. Hopefully, I'll be able to let you know next year. Yes. But we're going to make the most of it and have a mini holiday. Are you having fun on our holiday, Mummy? Very much so. Yes. So, what are you having? I am having a terrine, mm. a terrine of foie de volaille. And I'm having Gravidlax. It's huge. Yes, it's huge. Oh, and the church bells are ringing. Bon appétit, Maman. Bon appétit, chérie. Mummy and I only have one spare hour for sightseeing, so we've come to the Palais des Papes in Avignon. For a brief period in the 14th century, the papacy moved to Avignon, and this was the Palace of the Popes. Are you excited, Mummy? Very. It was years ago when I last came here. The palace was built by Pope Benedict XII, but added to dramatically by his successor, Clement VI. He became Pope in 1343 and immediately started doubling the size of the palace and completely redecorating the areas that were already built. This remained the largest Gothic palace in Europe. Stepping back in time, mummy. It's steep. Clement VI was a bon vivant who loved music, art and literature and he called the finest people in each of those fields to come to this court. Petrarch was responsible for finding manuscripts to add to the library here which quickly became the largest in Europe. Having such a privileged position here didn't stop Petrarch from calling Avignon the Babylon of the West because of the sumptuous living standards and vast banquets at this court. In fact, the first additions to this building were not chapels, they were kitchens which tells us something about the priorities of Clement VI. I mean, look at this for a kitchen chimney. But most excitingly for me, Clement VI was a great patron to fresco painters and I'm here specifically to see his study. This stunning room was his personal study and it's now known as the Room of the Stag. Interestingly, although it was the first room that he had decorated, there's no overtly religious imagery on the walls. Even more surprisingly, they're entirely decorated with hunting scenes. There's falconry, fishing, stag hunting, bird catching, and that might not seem surprising to us now as they were always noble pursuits of the day. But since the 13th century, hunting had been forbidden to clerics. So here the Pope is showing not only that he loves the good life, noble pursuits, excellent food, but also that he's not just any cleric. He has both spiritual and temporal power. And whilst he may not have been one of the most saintly popes, it's in this room that he would have made the decisions that lead me to think of him as one of the most rational. 
For a man who once said that a pope should make his subjects happy, it was particularly bad luck that he was pope during the Black Death. The plague that started in 1347 killed nearly two-thirds of Europe's population and hit Avignon hard, but he refused to abandon the town. Across Europe, people started blaming the Jews for the plague and even burning them, but he issued two papal bulls in 1348 condemning the violence. He rationally pointed out that it couldn't be the fault of the Jews as the plague was all but universal and that it affected both Jews and many other nations to whom life in common with Jews is unknown. He proclaimed that anyone indulging in such violence was seduced by the devil and could be excommunicated. Not only did he not allow himself to be swayed by people blaming the Jews, he even asked a physician to conduct autopsies on the bodies of the dead to find the true cause, which is unbelievable for a pope in the Middle Ages. Once his study was finished, Clement commissioned beautiful religious artwork for places like this chapel in the palace. But the fact that he started by building magnificent kitchens and decorating his private rooms with birds and flowers really endears him to me. They are lovely, lovely toys. Oh, I wish we could stop. But we can't. We've got a train to catch. Yes, Come on, Mummy, yes. we'll be late. I know. Oh, don't tell me that. Oh dear, I don't recognise any of this. We definitely didn't come this way. We're completely lost in Avignon. We really need to find the car. Come on, Mummy. Oh, thank goodness we found it. Bye bye, Avignon. I will definitely be back. And I know exactly which hotel I want to stay in when I do return. It's called La Mirande and has an amazing Michelin starred restaurant. It was once the house of a cardinal and I just long to stay there because I think it reminds me slightly of the decoration in La Lande and I'd feel so at home in these rooms with the old wallpapers. Even the kitchen is reminiscent of the one at La Lande. Oh, lovely old view. Percy, did you miss Mummy? Is that why you dressed up for her return? It was for David's return. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, David, oh, I hope I'm you're feeling... so flattered. <laughs> David's already in the house, already in a towel. And Molly is here! Yay! We have a... Oh, not a little one. Have you got a light on there? We've got a very fat frog. Come on, little frog. Oh, dear. Come on. Is it a toad or a frog? Is it poisonous? I don't know. Well, you can wash your hands afterwards. It's not a, it's not a cane toad. <laughs> Here we go, little frog. I'm going to find the other frog. Yes, before we stop on I'm going to wash my hands. <laughs> it's for you. <laughs> That's one of the most beautiful bouquets I've ever seen in my life. Thank you. It's a flower arrangement. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not a bouquet. I'd like to apologise. <laughs> Can okay. I really, honestly, truly have it in my room tonight? Yep, yeah, in your bedside table. On your bedside table. Okay, let's go. Yes. All of these people are in my bathroom for the grand unveiling of a mere 14 years after we moved in, my first actual shower door. Oh. It is beautiful. <laughs> All this time has been a pretty mangy curtain. I can now see my bathroom from inside my shower. This is the beautiful view from inside my shower. From now on, all of my showers will be taken with an audience. The thing is, there always was an audience. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe not. <laughs> of course, it would be less beautiful when we left, but that's good. That was Ben and Ron. They did a great job. What great men. I can't wait to see them tomorrow. And oh, so, that's wonderful. Now we're still going to put edging around there yes. and then we'll finish. What a I'll put this next to your bed. Fun. Thank you. I want to just keep going away so I can keep coming home to such exciting things. Don't go away. No, I don't want to look at the ceiling. Oh, okay. Okay, it's only fair to show you all the reality of Chateau life. There was a big flood. No, now. Many no, the, years ago. There was a flood. Two years ago. It was of epic Noah Ark-like proportions. And my ceiling hasn't been repaired since then. But other things have been done. Bit by bit, we're getting there. It's good to be home. Yeah. Grant's carrying on his man's man side by coming to watch a romantic comedy with us. Everyone ready for movie night? Oh, yeah. <laughs>